There we go. So welcome. Happy September, uh, our first Wednesday of the month. Uh, I hope you guys had an amazing summer. I got to follow a lot of you on social media. I got to see your, your beautiful posts and saw some of you uh, traveling to different countries. We still got some of our team traveling still, not back quite yet. Um, yeah, and it's, it's neat. We even had promotions throughout the summer. So people, some people were working, some people enjoyed the summer. Um, we don't judge. This business is so great that you can have the flexibility um, to do what you want and when you want. So I know some of them are a little bit harder than others, and that is okay. Um, but tonight, it's going to be a short call. Um, we just wanted to really connect with you on focusing on getting ready for um, the month of September and heading into the fall. So I don't know if a lot of you watch the rep rep calls with Mitra, which is Tuesday at noon. If you don't, I highly recommend it. She's always awesome. But um, one of the things that she talked about is that there's two seasons, really two busy seasons for us. One is in September where, where it's kind of like getting into business building mode. Um, and then the next one is in January where people get into kind of that health. Um, so we're kind of in time right now of having those great juicy conversations with people about, you know, what's next? Um, where, what does September look like for you? Um, and a lot of people are, are kind of looking at September as a new year, new routine, um, new opportunities. So um, how awesome is it that we have our Markham event on Friday? And then we also have our Saturday event from nine to one. So we've got about um, 75 tickets sold right now for Saturday, which is awesome. Um, we can st keep still building for that event. I'm still throwing out messages and, and I'm actually, this week I've actually been on the phone. I've actually, some, I actually had somebody answer the phone. Has anybody actually had a real conversation on the phone this week? I just want to know. Anybody? So Julia did, Michelle did, anybody else? Okay, first off, she actually answered the phone. How many of you actually expect people to answer the phone? Anyways, it was like, I was giggling to myself because I'm like, I don't talk to people on the phone. And so I was calling and calling. What I did is I, 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 I printed off my downline gross report and started calling frontline distributors that I haven't talked to in a long time or don't even know. Um, and the cool thing is one person actually picked up the phone and we had a genuine conversation. And I can't believe that 13 years ago, that's actually how I built my business was phone conversations. So it's changed so much, but I actually really enjoyed it. It was so nice to talk to a human being live versus Boxer or Facebook Messenger. I don't know if anybody else can appreciate that, but it was just really pleasant. And yeah, mom, you, you're, you're great on the phone. I know you still build your business uh, having those great conversations, but Anyways, I just got so excited. I guess when we talk about our wind journal, I talked to somebody live on the phone, other than a family member. Of course, I talked to my family member, but it was pretty cool. So um, really want to focus on a um, couple quests or a couple things I want to find out. Does anybody have questions about what Friday night is going to look like or Saturday, especially if you're a new rep? Don't be shy. You can also um, type it in the chat section. I just want to make sure that you guys are comfortable and, and know what the Friday night event's about and what the Saturday event is about. Any comments or questions or clarity that needs to happen? Everybody's good? You're getting them, oh, Julia. Okay, yep, you go, girl. So unmute yourself so we can. Hi there. So I'm, I'm not really clear on, like I thought the Friday was kind of like a, like a, introduction that would be appropriate for like potential customers and reps yeah um, and then i was thinking that saturday was like training for us but i'm not entirely sure okay um kathy says give us a rundown totally give you a rundown okay so friday night um doors open at seven the event starts at seven thirty. there will be a cash bar there so if you guys want to get a beverage or a non-alcoholic beverage if you're on the shred like me um and there will be water. We're not doing food or anything like that. So you want to make sure that you come um, with a full tummy, that you've had dinner and let your guests know that. Um, and then um, right at 7.30, we're going to start. So it's me hosting and there's going to be six other health professionals. We're actually going to be on stage and it's going to be in a panel format. And so if you guys have ever been on the Freedom Revolution calls 
that have been happening where it's about a 30 minute script and people are you know, introducing the, the healthy living revolution movement. Uh, and then people get on to talk about the products, they talk about um, their stories, and it's short and sweet. So that's what we're trying to duplicate, but just in a live setting. So um, when you're, when, when you think about Friday night, it is an event for people to know about our healthy living revolution, our free resources, our products, and our business opportunities. So it's everything rolled into one. And like I said, it's, it's um, health professionals that are going to be in front of the room. So what we're doing is we're really building belief. Um, so it's a great opportunity for all of you guys, especially if you're in the area, to think about like if we've got the massage therapist that's going to be there, the nutritionist, the cancer coach, the homeopath, um, the medical esthetician, you know, who do you know that, are, that is already in that field that you could reach out to and invite to say, hey, you know, I know that you're my friend, you're a medical esthetician, why don't you come out on Friday night, I'll buy you a drink and hear from another me medical esthetician of how she's building a second income and helping people get better skin. Um, maybe there's, and there's going to be also a nurse as well that's going to be there. So it just gives you a, a really easy way to invite people, especially if you've got people that have been sitting on the fence um, and they're not sure. This would just be like, come and listen to all these health professionals that use this in their practice and they recommend it and hear their story about why they're such believers. Um, so that's Friday night. Um, before I go on to Saturday, can I get some, um, a couple of the leaders? Um, Melissa, again, can you talk? I know Melissa's in Markham. I know that she's probably been building like crazy this week. I don't know if she can talk though. We'll see. She might be with kiddos. She has a side. Is there anybody else that wants to just um, share what verbiage you're using to invite for the event Friday night, just to help our newbies? Anybody? Nicole. Oh, there you are. There's Melissa. Okay. Listen to what Melissa is saying. This is how easy it can be. Uh, I actually stole what Nicole was saying and I've just been messaging people and asking them what they're doing on Friday night. And people are getting back to me and saying, Oh, I, I think I'm free. Why? What's up type of thing. And so then I know they're free. And then I just kind of, I say to them, listen, like I'm going to be part of this panel. I'm using myself as like a speaker. I'd love them to come and just check it out and, you know, hear me talk and whatever. Um, but basically just saying, you know, it's health professionals. We're going to talk um, about the Juice Plus products, the Juice Plus business, but I've been really selling Jay Martin. I've been saying, you know, he's the founder. Stop doing that song for a minute. He's the founder of our company and that he is like a 70 something year old guy with a lot of mojo still and that he's like an amazing storyteller and that they will leave inspired by what whatever he has to say because that's how I leave the room all the time. So I've been really leading with Jay. Amazing, yeah. awesome. Yeah, so once the panel is over, we will transition to Jay Martin and Jay Martin will have about 30 minutes with us and as Melissa said, he is a great storyteller. So, um, so that's what you can do for Friday. I love that, right? What are you doing Friday night? Nothing. Why? What's up? I love it. That's a great line. Um, so that's Friday night. So everybody go with that. And it's free. So it is free. Um, and that location is really easy to get to because it's just off the 404 and Highway 7. It's like the first hotel right off the major highway. So easy to get to. Um, then on Saturday, um, our event starts at 9 o'clock sharp. Um, you'll definitely want to get there early so that you can settle in, get your chair. Um, there's tea and coffee only, so you want to make sure that you are eating breakfast beforehand and also bring your own snacks, um, you know, that, that you can fill up because we're, we're literally not really providing you guys food to keep the price of the tickets cheap. Um, so bring, you know, your, your healthy food, whatever you need to get you through until one o'clock. Um, there will be uh, a break at 11 o'clock where there will be tea and coffee. Uh, and really the focus, the front half will be a corporate presentation. There will be um, information on um, more, more diving into what Juice Plus is, the Tower Garden. Um, and then we go into everybody when you sign in at the front desk is going to get a starter guide. And it's really our newest system, our tool. Um, that we're really trying to duplicate around the world. Every leader, every rep has access to it. So we're really wanting to kickstart this awesome tool to help new reps successfully launch their business with some 
basic tool. So we've got a bunch of trainers that will be doing really short 15 minute presentations in front of the room where you would be opening up your starter guide and taking notes. Uh, and, it, and then it wraps up at one. So, um, so who can come? Who can come on Saturday? So again, what I have been doing this week is I have been um, calling all of my, um, I'm going to say, non-active distributors and inviting them out. Just, hey, where are you? You just never know if this is the right time for them. And I've told you guys this before, this is how I found Melissa Hyde, 50 Club, NMD, close to 75 Club. I found her on my downline girls report in the month of September, getting back into working, getting back into, and I just happened to reach out and she actually picked up the phone this time. And, uh, and we got into a conversation and I invited her out. You can even, um, what, what's a really good way to invite somebody out is I'll come pick you up. I'll buy your ticket. They don't need to know how much it is, but I'll grab your ticket. You're going to get a free starter guide. Come see what I'm up to. Come see, you know, the tribe that I hang out with, it's only four hours. It could really launch you into something pretty great. And let's grab lunch after. So um, that's what Saturday is going to be about. Now, um, just as an FYI, I would love to go and hang out with you guys after for lunch. Um, we have booked a reservation right at the hotel starting at 1.30. So it wraps up at one and whoever wants to come for lunch with us, right on the premise there is a restaurant. Um, there's some healthy shred options on the menu like a kale salad if you're on the shred. And um, Nikki Webb has put a poll on Team B. Yes, I'd like to go for lunch or no, I can't make it. If you guys are interested in joining us for lunch as a team after, and yeah, make sure you do the poll if we have to change the reservation. Right now I booked it for 20, but we can grow more into that room. We just need to know numbers. So tonight, if you think you can do lunch, please go back and find the poll um, so that we can have appropriate numbers. So that, is anybody else, oh, is parking included and do we need a pass? Parking is free at the hotel and you don't need any pass. It's really easy, much easier than the last hotel that we were at. So yeah, free parking. There's a lot of parking space at that hotel. Uh, any other questions or comments about the event coming up? Um, let me see here. Okay, so on that note, I think we'll wrap up. It's a short, short call. Um, next week on the call Wednesday night, um, we have a special guest speaker. Uh, Jamie Kuwenzi is a 100 Club NMD. Got to hang out with her in Whistler. Um, she just retired her husband from the IT, um, um, IT industry. So he's now at home with their three kids. Uh, they're CrossFitters. They're totally into health. And um, she's going to definitely do some pretty amazing training with us on, on how she built her business. She does a lot of great social media posts. So that will be next Wednesday. You want to make sure that you're on and can uh, bring on your team. We're trying to do more, um, at least having a couple speakers on in a month to get you more training and more variety. So we're going to keep that um, active. Uh, just as an FYI, tomorrow the leadership team is getting together so that we can talk more about building for next year. So if there are any ideas that you have for your area for 2019, uh, where you want to your area, one of us to your area, make sure you follow up with your leader your, your, your leaders um, in, in your organization um, and get that information to them because we are in planning mode for next year. So, and as you guys know, we can get really, really busy. So we want to make sure that we honor and respect um, everybody and their wishes. So uh, make sure that you start thinking about what next year could look like for your area. What kind of events do you need? Who do you want to come and help you build your business? Uh, is Melissa on? See if I can see her. Oh, there you are. This is really hard. 
to see everybody. Um, Melissa, is there anything else that you want to um, chat about before we uh, wrap up? Just to get out, because that's going to get you inspired to get started again um, on your um, on your business. I know it's it's harder in the summer, especially this summer. It was spectacular the weather. And take some time now, because I find usually the first week of September is a write-off with everything that September has. And plan out, where do you see yourself finishing off September? So going into conference, but then for the rest of the year. And actually do some planning. What events do you want to run? Set up your ball party dates or salad dinners or whatever it is. Put those in your calendar now. And you'll, ha you'll be able to really smash the rest of the year if you get organized this week. And then jump into it for the rest of it. Yeah, yeah, for sure. We were just talking on our leadership um, meeting about Melissa Hyde. How many years ago did you hit NMD now? Hold on. Uh, three, it'll be four this April. Four, okay. So it was three, yeah. So three? No, no four. four. Four, it's four now, yeah. Yeah, so just to give you a perspective, four years ago, Melissa Hyde decided that she wasn't going to conference unless she was going to hit NMD. And I knew that she meant that. And so um, she pretty much in three weeks created about 30 events and, and her and her team delivered 12,000 PVC to get her to NMD. So I'm just sharing that with you that anything is possible. 30 events, it was crazy. That's when Transform 30 came out. But she, you know, something just goes off in your mind. Just like what happened with Melissa when she decided to go, Melissa said again, when she decided to go Q&MD, it was a decision. The conference is coming up. I know some of you have some big goals. So tap into your September, as Melissa said, because anything is possible. Um, and in regards to conference, guys, no conference is coming up in the middle of um, October, October uh, so gosh, 17th to the 20th. So if you're still sitting on the fence, there is time that we can kick you off the fence and invest in this amazing business. I know for a lot of people that had gone to a conference for the first time, like Sarah Naylor went to conference for the first time as a new NMD. And Sarah, what would be your message that you can send to people about, you know, all of your experiences that you used and, you know, kicking yourself that you can go earlier. I am forever changed by that. Those four days. It was something that I, you can never imagine what it's like. You just have to be there and feel it. Um, you know, I get emotional talking about the community that this business brings to you and to have thousands of people just loving on each other and lifting each other up. Um, and just the, the training is amazing. Um, and just sharing it with, you know, all of these best friends that you have all around the world and you meet these amazing people that, you know, you'll, you'll carry on through your life. And it, it was amazing. I am devastated that I will not be there in October. I'm having serious FOMO already. Um, I, I have contemplated um, going and flying to Thunder Bay on Saturday, but I'm not sure how doable that is. Um, but it is, uh, yeah, it, it's amazing. I, I, I actually don't have a word that you could describe it but you don't ever want to miss one ever 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 so fun awesome sarah and we have a couple winners on our team melissa leonard she won 750 dollars today my dear congratulations i guess you're coming to conference now that's amazing i was so like goosebumps when jen brennan told me that you had a conversation just a couple days ago do you want to do you want to say anything about your winnings melissa well, um, yeah, thank you. I'm so excited. I, I pretty much decided three days ago that I was going to do whatever it took to get to the And I've been sort of working the numbers and trying to figure out whether I could make it happen um, money-wise and how much I needed. And yeah, like I spent last night looking up flights and then woke up this morning and hopped online and found out I'd won $750 to work. So it was pretty awesome. I'm that's sorry. great yeah congratulations and we have michelle who also won 500 dollars. she was not sure if she was coming to conference so got the sign 
that she needed to come to conference. So two other reps getting to conference because of this amazing draw. I don't know if you guys did hear that for the month of September, um, they're gonna do it a little bit differently for the draws. So um, for every order that you get for the month of September, they're putting your name in the basket. So it doesn't have to be five anymore. It's just one order, one name. So if you end up getting 20 orders, 20 times a chance to win. So, and uh, I know there'll probably be some pretty big prizes. Uh, in regards to um, how you actually, um, you guys heard how you get your money. You go, you spend it and come back and get in the receipt and then they will reimburse you. So just wanted to make sure that you knew, knew that. Uh, I did have one thing that popped in my head and then it left. So <laughs> that's me and my brain, my squirrel brain. So um, I think that's it. Michelle or Melissa, am I missing anything? That's it. Okay. So we're going to see you guys Friday night hopefully Saturday. Um, I'm going to secretly try to record the regional for our people that are out of town and I will find somebody that can hide it <laughs> and we can do it hopefully live. It won't be on my phone though because my battery doesn't last long so we'll have to maybe find somebody else to use the phone but or get by an outlet but we do we're going to do our best um, to record the regional for four hours and get it on Team B. So pray for us that it works. <laughs> Corporate typically doesn't like us doing this at regional, but have to pay off Karen for it. Maybe she won't notice. Okay, oh, one I know now because I just saw Julia. Julia just hit Fast Track BF. I want to do a big shout out to you, girlfriend. Can you get on and uh, unmute yourself? And in like one minute, two minutes, what you did to get to Fast Track VF? Because that was the question on our leadership. How are we getting these Fast Track to VF? What, what is happening? How are you doing it? So for me, it was investing in inventory. And um, I did the Garden Tower. Um, really pushing to my friends and family like how much of a difference this has made in my life already and just using it as a tool to move forward right like because it's such a great opportunity to like start off on your best footing so that's how I came at it and uh, I got lots planned for September so I'm really hoping that all this big investment will pay off. That's great. Did you run any type of event in your home or did you do anything online? Yes. So I had, um, I had an event uh, earlier this month. August was kind of crazy because kids going back to school and all that stuff. Yeah. Um, but like definitely trying to beef up my social media presence. Um, like Sarah and Sonia are really helpful that way. Um, and then just inviting people and going out and networking way more than I ever have in my entire life. And it's been really paying off because I've met so many amazing people in the last few weeks. Like it's way more than I can count on my hands. So that is like an amazing feeling. And I, I think that is pretty much it. I think the big thing is the energy and, and believing in it. Is, is really getting me moving forward. Awesome, well congratulations. It's a pretty big deal to get to Fast Track VF. Um, but once you get there, you get the belief and now you know how you can help other people duplicate, right? And that is the success of our business model. As um, Mitra said on the Rep Rep call um, last week was that really our business is about showing people how to get to, to, to VF and duplicating that, right? And the the top dogs of six figure and seven figure incomes are duplicating that monthly. Wow. So if, if you want to see that big, healthy, duplicatable paycheck, it's about that simple. It's, it's not easy. It's simple, but it's not easy, right? It's like, Oh, go out and get eight orders. <laughs> right. Yeah. And if it was easy, everybody would be hitting it. So it does take some skill set and some time and investment. And obviously you made the commitment and it paid off for you. So now you get to duplicate yourself over and over and over again. <laughs> well, awesome. You.
Okay, ladies and gents, so lovely to see everybody. Happy Wednesday night. Hopefully you're in Ontario and got air conditioning because I don't know what temperature it was today, 40 some with the humidity. Yeah, smoking hot, <laughs> but awesome. Not complaining, great September to, to kick off with great weather. Thanks everyone, lovely to see you. Have a great night.